thanks for signing up for a free trial of OneLogin. After you have signed in for the first time, you're gonna be greeted with this screen that will prompt you to add apps to your catalog. So we'll follow the prompt here. And you'll be pulled into our app catalog that has all of our application connectors sorted by category. So if I wanted to, for example, look for a project management connector, I would jump into that category, find the right app. But if I wanted to find an app by name, I can always type that into the search bar. So for example, with Salesforce, we have a number of options of which we want the basic Salesforce connector. Now, if we look at this one closely, we can see that we have a couple options for authentication type. So we can use forms-based auth. So that means using usernames and passwords and injecting those into Salesforce. Or we have the option to use SAML authentication, which is essentially going to eliminate passwords and is going to send a certificate across in place of a username and password and is generally a more secure and modern method of authenticating your users into applications. We can also see that we have provisioning capabilities with this Salesforce connector. And what that will allow one login to do is to create user accounts in Salesforce the day they start their job or the day you add them into the appropriate role and will create the appropriate license type for them, assign them to the appropriate groups and permissions as well. So if I want to get started with this connector, I'll select it. I can rename it, I can change the way that it's branded in the portal, I can also make it invisible to my users as I'm doing this setup to make sure that no one has access to this app as I'm setting it up. We can also add a description which will act like a tag, so if I want to tag this as CRM, anytime someone is in their portal and they search for CRM, Salesforce will pop up. Once I'm happy with all of this, I can save, and it will prompt me with more configuration. So we'll go through all of the configuration for this Salesforce connector in another app. Please follow the link provided.